Hi, and welcome to Periscript. Today we will cover the DCOM settings of the SoftLock server and connecting an end user to the SoftLock server. The first thing we want to do is to go to the Start menu, type in DCOM CNFG. This will open My Component Services. Select Computers, open up My Computers Properties, and let's go to the COM settings. To allow end users into your SoftLock server, the first thing you want to do is to open the gateway to that server. To do this, you go to Access Permissions, Edit, Select Anonymous, and allow for remote access. Click OK. The second thing you want to do is to allow launch and activation permissions. To do this, click on Edit. I do not see Anonymous in here, so we're going to add it. Now for the Anonymous tab, we want to make sure we allow remote launch, local activation, remote activation, as well as local launch. All of these have been selected. Click Apply. And our DCOM settings are set. In some situations, you're also going to want to do this to the default settings. However, we did not encourage this. Now we want to go to the Services tab. Let's search for Periscript, SoftLock Server, then let's restart the service. In addition to the firewall, we have also set our DCOM settings, which will allow end users into the SoftLock server. So now let's go to the end user. Here I have CheckUltra on one of my end user machines and I want to connect to the SoftLock server. To do this, you select Customer, Customize SoftLock Search Procedures, search Local first, then Network. When the first workable SoftLock is found, then click on the three monitors. Okay, now I want to add a computer to my search list. I don't want to search the entire network, so let's search the computers that are on the list. If you do not see the computer that has the SoftLock server on it, you simply drag one of the computers over, and then you can rename it to either the IP address Or in this case, I know my server's on here, so I'll go ahead and locate it. Okay, now I want to make sure that my SoftLock server is functioning properly. So I go ahead and click on Properties. Connection succeeded. That's what I want. Now I can use the SoftLock viewer on my end user, which will access the license on my SoftLock server. So let's test this out and make sure it works. Let's find the Periscript in our computer. In this case, we're using Check Ultra. Let's go to the test. I'm going to clean out my QQ folder just because I've tested this before. Then I'm going to run the test again. To do this, you have a number of samples which will test against the bat file. Go ahead and click Run Bat. and I successfully configured it. Now I can check my results in the QQ file. 
So we have successfully tested the installation of the end user license as well as its connectivity to the SoftLock server. So today we have covered DCOM settings for the SoftLock server, connecting to the SoftLock server from an end user. Be sure that the firewall settings are set correctly as well. If you have any questions, please give us an email at techsupport at periscript.com. Thank you for using Periscript.